Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So today we are going to discuss ECG. Uh, today we will discuss for AKP exam for AKP exam only because we all know about basic ECG. Okay. Then uh, some basic points are each second of uh, each second of ECG containing five big squares means one large box is of 0.2 seconds. If we divide seconds by five, so it will be 0 0.20 seconds in which contain large box, one large box. So in one large box is like a square, it, it contain 25 small squares. So one small box is equal to 0 0.004 seconds. Height is one mm and length is also one mm. Uh, same as a large box, height is 5 mm and length is also 5 mm, which is 0 0.20 seconds. If we see ECG pattern, so P is atrial polarization. Yeah, QRS complex is depolarization of the ventricles, and T is the repolarization of the ventricles. We will learn each of these in next slides. Okay. <clears throat> Here, uh, we will learn these things in the ECG in orders. Like we have to see the rhythm, then rate, then axis, then waves. In ECG, there are five normal physiological waves and five pathological waves. Then segments, which are like intervals, PR interval, QT interval, like this. And then the chamber size in last. These all are important for the uh, AKP exams. Axis, we see... Mm -hmm. Lead one and AVF, AVF and lead one, we see axis. Okay, rhythm and P wave, P wave morphology and rhythms we see in the lead two. Right ventricle hypertrophy we see in the uh, uh, sorry V one chest lead. Right atrial in the V two and biventricular hypertrophy in the V three and V four. Then the left ventricular hypertrophy and left atrial hypertrophy in the V six. Now rhythm, why we are calculating rhythm before the uh, rate? Because for the normal rhythm, rate is calculating, calculation is easy because we count R, R, uh, large box is between uh, two hours and divided by 300 simply. But if the rhythm is not accurate, there is abnormal rhythm. Then the counting of the uh, heart rate is a bit difficult. So that's why we see rhythm mm -hmm. before. Normal rhythm should be within mm -hmm. physiological rate and regulation pattern, constant P's and R intervals. So we will see next slide how to see the rhythms. This arrhythmia means abnormally fast, slow, irregular intervals. Okay. So this is the ECG. So always to see the rhythm, you make a small paper and mark three R's like this. Are you seeing these green lines on the R in the first lead? Yes. Is it visible? Yes, yes, yes. definitely. Yeah. You mark three R's, three lines on the R's, the uh, same, okay, on the paper. Then compare it with other R's like this. Uh, you, are you seeing this? On the V5, yes. there are three. Yes. So this is same. Yes. Same, okay. It is not yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. And now see in the lead three, same, mm -hmm. okay. So this means yeah. this is have a uh, regular rhythm. Regular rhythm. Okay. If these okay. were like not coming with three lines, these R are not coming with this, uh, these green lines. So that means there is hmm. abnormal rhythm is there. This arrhythmia is there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So the blue line should coincide with the other R. R, R yeah, okay. same. If there hmm. was something problem was that, so R and R will be different with these lines. Hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Understood? Yes. 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 Yeah. Hmm. Now heart rate. Heart rate, we have to calculate for the regular rhythm and for the irregular rhythm. So there are hmm. two methods. For the regular uh, regular uh, rhythm, it is normal. Just count the biggest square between two RRs, then divide it by the 300. It is easy. See, it is a one, one uh, method. Second method is, is the calculate small squares between the two RR, then divide it by the 1500. So we will get the heart rate. If the rhythm is irregular then uh, the method is a little bit different we have to count the uh, because rr interval will be like varying so that's why 
we count r mm. where in a 6 seconds means 30 big squares mm. okay then multiply it by 10 so we will count r waves in 30 mm. large boxes okay mm. then we will multiply it by 10 so we will get our okay. heart rate it is for the mm. like abnormal rhythm your irregular rhythm okay now next slide if we count the uh, rhythm no, so rhythm is normal uh, we see the same ecg and now count the this r to this r large boxes one two three and some two small boxes are there so 3.2 is there so uh, it divided by 3.2 it will be same or more more or same by 100 so this mm -hmm. ecg containing the heart rate of 100 beats per minute it is a regular if it was not the regular one then how we will count so we will count 30 large boxes between uh, see if we are seeing the lead in the last row we see counting the now count counting is the one two three four like up to i mark this this is the 30 okay okay so it's uh, now counting the r between these one two three four five six seven eight nine nine and a half so yeah nine then nine multiply by ten okay ten. it's 90. if the regular oh, rhythm 90. was irregular then heart mm. rate would be like 90 meters per minute yeah. so it is mm. Same, mm. more and same like uh, the regular mm. rhythm 90 and 100 okay mm. Okay. If the rhythm was abnormal, then the uh, calculation of the heart rate is like this. Okay. Mm. 